Hi, it's Professor Miller. I just wanted to show you really quickly how to get registered for Alex. And so I'm going to walk through the process. It's pretty fast. And it's important to understand this is a fairly large part of your semester grade. So um, it's about 30% of your grade. So we want to get working on that right away. To get started, you'll log into your own lecture Blackboard site. It should look something like this. And you're going to click Alex Chemistry homework. When you do, it's going to take you through a registration process. You're going to want to use your student email account. If you've already used Alex before, you can go ahead and click yes, and you can log in. If you have it, then you just click continue and you go like that. It's already going to generate your name from Blackboard, and it should also put in your student email address. Yours will be different, of course. You're going to agree and then click continue. Now, the fees for this program are around $60, and they're already integrated into the cost of your, of your um, tuition and fees. So you don't even have to pay for it again at this point. It's already done. You're going to land on a page that looks like this and click Continue. To open up our class each time you log in, you won't have to do that part again. Um, you only do that one time, and it will enroll you in the class automatically. So then you'll click on this each time you need to come into Alex. And it will open up your own personalized learning environment. You're going to want to go through all these windows about the various tools that are in Alex, unless you've been in Alex before. Although sometimes it's helpful to have a reminder anyways. Um, this is a really good process because it teaches you how to use the tools before you're like, you know, being assessed on anything. Okay, so you're going to go through this. And then, um, after the tools tutorial, you're going to be able to take the initial knowledge check. I'm going to go ahead and um, fast forward through this part, but you should go through and learn the tools in Alex before you do your knowledge check. Okay, once you're done with the tools tutorial, you get this screen right here and it says you have unlocked your initial knowledge check. This is not graded. The function of this is so that the computer can learn about you and learn what you're good at so that you don't have to do a whole bunch of homework on things you already know. Um, it also is going to help you zero in on the topics that you don't know well. And so you'll just start your knowledge check. It's going to be like 20 or 30 questions. It takes people like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. And again, you don't need to study for this. Don't get stressed about it. Just do the best you can do. But it's just going to ask you a series of questions that are different for each person. And it's gonna give you um, essentially a starting point, right? So answer the questions the best you can. You could of course use the periodic table on this kind of question that's located over here. Sometimes you might have to look up some data that would be in the data tab, or you can even use the calculator that's built right into Alex, which is handy too. If you really don't know something, you can click, I don't know. Um, in that case, it'll be a topic that you cover in the homework. Okay, so that's how you get started. After the initial knowledge check is finished, you're going to get a window that looks something like this. It'll be different for each person. Okay, and so, for example, at this particular point in time, um, the current objective is objective one, and I have for this made up student um, seven more topics that I have to get done before the due date. So every time you log into Alex, you're going to land on a page that looks like this. It has what they call your, your Alex pie. By the end of the semester, this will be full of color and very accessible in terms of which topics are um, ones that you know and ones that you don't. So for example, in the prerequisite review, it tells me I have mastered 12 of the topics and I only have two, uh, 14 more remaining. Um, Objective one is mostly in the first, the second pie slice here, measurement and matter. So four of them have been mastered, there's 13 left. But only seven of those topics are due this at this particular time. So Alex doesn't always load up what the topic, the question that first comes up may not be one of the ones that's due at that time. So you can click down here and slide on over and you can find the diamond icon. This is what's going to increase your grade. That's what is due this week. 
Last week, these topics were due, so they're past topics. I can still work on them, and it will still increase my mastery grade, but it won't increase my objective grade, which is the part that is due on a particular day. Right. So first off, I go through and look at all the diamond ones, and I try to I try to get those ones done. The basic premise is you have to get three questions correct in a row, or five questions correct not in a row. Either one of those will give you credit for learning this topic. And so we're gonna we're gonna go through. Uh, but sometimes we will come to a diamond, a goal for that week that has a lock on it. This means there is a prerequisite topic that I have to do in order to unlock this. That's because I was behind. I didn't finish all the objectives last week. So first have to go do this topic and then that goal topic will open up for me. Um, same thing here. And so when you click on the topic, it'll tell you which prerequisite topic you need to do, okay? That's the basics of Alex. The other way you can navigate is like, say I'm really far behind and we're in, we're, the class is in objective three, but I didn't get a chance to finish the prior ones. After I finish objective three, that would be due at that time, I can go back and I can do the ones I missed in prior sections. And that again, will increase my mastery score, even if my objective grade um, doesn't increase, right? So there's two different pieces to the grading system here. And so you can always work on catching up and you can even work ahead the same way. If I've completed the current objective, it'll open up the next one for me and I can keep working on things. That's a really handy thing if I know I have a big project coming up or I need to just budget my time carefully, okay? So you can plan ahead to make sure that you can always get the topics mastered before their due date, which means you'll have the maximum grade. As always, if you have any questions about Alex, come and see me, make an appointment, meet me with me on Zoom, whatever it takes, I'll help you walk through it and we can figure out where you're stuck. But the main idea from Alex is to give you the chance to practice until you really understand a particularly important topic. And so each week uh, on Mondays, we will have things due. And so you wanna keep up with that. I'm here if you need help.